Hey everyone, today we're going to check out Meguiar's new Perfect Clarity range. We're going to be checking out the Perfect Clarity glass polishing compound and the Perfect Clarity glass sealant. So let's have a quick look at the uh, Perfect Clarity glass polishing compound first. It uh, deep cleans glass and removes water spots and it improves glass clarity and smoothness. If we just peel this open here, one second. Okay, so it says here that it that it removes pollution, oily residue, and other stubborn buildup to restore smoothness. It erases water spots, wiper smudges, marks, and other surface contamination to restore clarity. And it's the perfect preparation step for glass to be treated with a glass sealant. And it's a good thing we have a glass sealant right here. So what does this do? Relentlessly repels rain and offers extreme durability. So it looks like it's basically a Rain-X type thing. What does it say on the back? It forms an invisible barrier to repel rain. It makes oil and grime easier to remove. It has an advanced hydrophobic formula for maximum rain repellency, and it dramatically improves wet weather driving visibility. So let's see. Let's see how these perform. The instructions for the glass compound say that it should be applied with a towel or a foam applicator pad and it also says you can use the Meguiar's DA power system with a polishing pad. Today we're going to be using one of Meguiar's standard yellow foam pads and let's get to it. Take our glass compound, give it a bit of a shake and it comes in a little flip up. You can unscrew this but we'll just use this little flip up thing here and let's just go for Two, three, and we'll go for one in the middle. Work it one section at a time in overlapping circles, not to let it dry and to wipe it off after application. So let's go. Oh blimey. There's a bit of resistance there. I think it might just be from the pad more than anything actually though. Um, I think the actual product is going on fairly smoothly. And I'm not sure if I put enough on here. I don't know if I put too much on, but it's uh, pretty. Um, I mean, it's pretty invisible. There's, the, you can definitely see a bit of a a film being left behind, but it's uh, definitely it's hard to see. Most of the water spots and contaminants, I think, are outside of the wiper area, so I'm going to push a bit harder up there and see if we can shift that, because I think the main wiper area is actually pretty clean. Okay, so remember on the left side we have our compounded glass and on the right side we've just cleaned it with car, shampoo and some Meguiar's glass cleaner, just regular stuff. So let's see. You know what? That is a, that is a noticeable difference we're seeing right here. So you can see here on this side, so the wiper area is around here, this where the wiper doesn't touch and this where the wiper does touch, almost indistinguishable. That looks perfectly smooth. Whereas over here, on the other side, let's give it a quick spray. What you should be able to see here is you can see where the wiper goes and then where the wiper doesn't go. That is a massive, between here and here, massive difference. And that difference isn't evident on the other side. Which makes me think that this is actually perform in that really quick application that's performed remarkably well to even out um, the surface over there. So I'm well impressed with that. Um, 
what we're going to do now is I'll do the other side and then we'll apply the sealant and see what that gives us and we'll do another side by side test. Alright now before we get started on the glass sealant let's have a quick look at what we've got in the box. So inside the box you get a bottle of glass sealant and you get a little grey foam pad to apply it. So let's check out the instructions. So we've got to thoroughly clean the window before application with the polishing compound, we've done that. Apply glass seal into the grey applicator pad or microfiber towel and apply to windows with overlapping strokes to ensure even coverage. Complete one section of the window at a time until the entire window has been treated. Allow the product to dry 5 to 10 minutes. Mist some water onto a microfiber towel, then wipe off the excess glass sealant from the surface. To ensure even coverage, apply a second coat of glass sealant and then immediately wipe it off. Do not touch the surface for at least one hour while the product is curing. Cool, so we need another microfiber towel and a little mist of water. Let's go and give it a shot. Okay, so we've got our glass sealant here and our little grey pad. Uh, it comes with a childproof cap on it, so I guess it's some pretty serious chemicals in here. You don't want kids or adults uh, drinking this stuff. Uh, we've got a pretty chemically smell, but it's nothing that car detailers won't smell before. So we've got a grey pad, let's put some of this on here and see how it goes on. That wasn't the easiest thing in the world to put on. Uh, I don't think I put enough on at first and the bottle, uh, it, it's a little bit dribbly. Um, I would recommend you kind of turn it upside down and then squeeze it out rather than try to pour it on because it, it went everywhere. Not everywhere, but it, it didn't quite work out as I was expecting. Um, so I would recommend that you really try and get as much of this stuff on there as possible. And I was kind of going like that and it was really dragging. I would recommend that you put the stuff on and then go like that to apply it and then work it back and forward and then up and down. Um, so we're going to leave this side for 10 minutes. Uh, we're going to wipe it off uh, and then we're going to do a side by side comparison to see how it compares the treated side with the untreated side. Well, I have a slightly damp microfiber towel here. We're going to buff this stuff off uh, and then we're going to do a side by side comparison to see how they compare. Okay, so remember this side has had the Maguire sealant applied, that side hasn't. Let's see how the beading looks. Yeah, you can see, you can see immediately there that the left side um, is beading up really nicely and the right side isn't because it's not got anything on it. So that's really nice, I mean it's just, it's a very Rain-X or just regular wax like effect and I expect that will be very pleasing to a lot of drivers. That's funny, look. There's a clear difference there, I think, in how the water behaves. It does say that you have to apply it twice to ensure even coverage, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to do that side and then I'm going to apply it again and immediately buff it off. Or no, I think leave it for five minutes and then leave it for an hour and then we'll come back and see how it Okay, I was right the first time you do the whole thing and then leave it for 10 minutes and buff it off and then you do it again and then buff it off immediately. So that's what I've just done uh, with a slightly damp towel. But I've got to say, I struggled the second on the second application to buff it to an even shine. I mean, even now I'm finding it difficult. I'm really, there's a lot of residue left on here uh, just using a microfiber with water um, so that's something to note I don't know if that will just flash off because you're meant to leave it for an hour I don't know if that's going to flash off or if I'm going to have to call in the big guns to get this to even out but um, we'll just uh, we'll leave it for an hour and we'll see how it looks Let's see how it looks over this side I, I expect I mean I hope it will flash off I'm it's the main the main bit of the windshield is flashing is uh, coming off fine. It's really it's these corners that are quite tricky to get to that I think might give us some bother. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll give it an hour. I'll we'll come back and we'll see how it looks. So we've left this for an hour. We've got a damp microfiber. Let's see how it comes off. Oh man! I mean, 
you can see already that that water is beating up. Uh, still got a bit of residue up here, but it had, I'd say it has flashed off or kind of dried in to a large extent. I Looks awesome. That's some pretty sweet beading right there. Uh, very happy with that. Very happy indeed, blimey. I love this stuff already. I hope it lasts. Look at that. And you can see that after that second coat and after I left it on for a good while, that beading has really improved. That is a lot better than it was immediately on the application of the first layer. That's substantially improved. So that second layer uh, and leaving it for an hour, very important, I reckon, to get the best out of this product. But wow, I mean, that's, that's great. I love it already. So, immediate thoughts on this product. The compound is better than any other glass polish I've used before. Uh, not carrying anything like cerium oxide, because this isn't meant to remove defects. It's only meant to remove contamination, so we're not really considering uh, defect removal here. Um, but this, in, in terms of a cleaning polish, this stuff is the best stuff I've used. Uh, and in terms of glass sealant, um, comparison with other products, I mean, I've only used Rain-X before, and I did once use wax on the windshield, which wasn't great. And um, so far, I've not, I mean, I can't do a side by side right now, but I'd say this stuff has to be, it's better than Rain-X, I think, from memory. It's definitely easier to apply. Um, but no, very happy with that. Um, Look at that, the water's just running right off. Brilliant. Right, thoughts on application. Compound went on easy. Um, like I said, I'd recommend five or six dots on a yellow pad to get it in there. It smoothed the glass out wonderfully, like nothing that I've ever used before. So 10 out of 10 for that. Um, the sealant, a little bit trickier to apply. Um, the foam pad, it, I found that it was quite grabby um, on the glass. Um, I was talking about how to hold it. I found that it, it, you really have to hold it fairly tight and really, you know, once you go all over it, once it's covered in the stuff, then it glides quite smoothly. But it almost doesn't want to, it's, it's quite, it's quite a lot of friction there, it felt like. Um, but once you've got it on and you can just, I would recommend just go over it a few times on application and then um, leave it for 10 minutes and then take it off. Um, yeah, and the fact you have to leave it for an hour, um, you know, it's, it's, it would be better if you didn't have to leave it for an hour on the second application, but the result speaks for itself. It's so worth it to do that second application. Um, I know I'm going to be using this product again. This is going to be a staple in my cabinet. I love it. Um, but the question is, how long will it last? So, I suppose there's two things. Environmental factors are going to affect it. Um, we're just going into spring, so I expect the environment's getting a little bit more favourable for this kind of product's longevity just now. The other big thing is going to be these guys. Um, you know, are these going to scrape it off the first time you use them? I don't know. Um, I'll do a follow-up video uh, looking at the longevity of the stuff, but first impressions are absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love it. I'd go out and get some right now. All right, so that's my thoughts on Meguiar's glass sealant and glass compound. I bought these with my own money. No one has ever given me any car cleaning products for free. I got these at Halfords, uh, just like everyone else can. Uh, they're on shelves right now. You can also get them on Amazon at the link below. Feel free to do that or go and get them wherever you want. I'm not too bothered. But uh, yeah, I'd recommend everyone get some of this stuff because it's, it's really good. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.